Rained. Didn't know. That's cool. Rained. It rained. Jit is hungry. Okay. Mm. It's Friday. We like Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. Um, and for a split second when the piano guy called to confirm tomorrow, I thought it was Wednesday. Oh, here you go. I don't even gonna wait. And, uh, you know, like when someone tells you something and like for a split second you forget and you're like, oh crap. That was me for just a little bit. And I, then I remembered that today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. So I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he's going to come at 1. My break is at 1.55. So I just got to make sure, you know, maybe I won't be on the phones today. Who knows? If I'm not on the phones. Or maybe I'll be on the low skill set. The higher skill set so that I only get escalation calls, and then I won't get any calls or hardly any calls, anyways. Feed in the herbs, er, running into the refrigerator. Here you go, herb and eater. Have a beautiful time with that. Um, at the end of, like, Seth, Seth McFarlane shows, you know, like, Family Guy and all of them, um, they have a security guard that goes, he goes like this, and he goes, bye, have a beautiful time, like that. So, Russ and I say, have a beautiful time a lot. Because it's not like a beautiful day, like normal people say. It's a beautiful time. It's a beautiful time. Yeah. It makes us smile. It's the little, little things, you know, that we do together. And sometimes Russ will be downstairs still, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. You know, even though he's either right behind me going to bed. Or obviously, once he comes into bed, I may still be awake. We'll still see each other. Like, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Or it's it's morning, or it's nighttime, and and he just he fell asleep for a little bit. And he wakes up, so I'll get I'll go. Good morning. It's again. It's the little things. I'm tired. Of course, I'm sorry. I had this dream. Um, I dreamt that there was this family who had like five kids. And the mom was a single mom and she lived with her mom or her mom lived with her or whatever. But they were drunks. And I went over to their place for some reason. I forget why. It was me and Russ went over there for some reason. I don't remember why. And um, I was seeing how they were living. And the youngest child had to be like five years old. So they were all teenagers, like, you know, not adults. And so um, they had no food. So that night I went out to McDonald's because the five-year-old wanted a McDonald's and I bought one of everything on the menu uh not like one of every meal but like one of every sandwich I did that and I told Ross I said I'm gonna put this on the credit card you know and 
He's like, okay, you do what you gotta do. So I got one of them. And then, uh, that was the end of my dream because my alarm went off. I gotta pee. And then I'm going to bed. Back to bed. But I felt like a good Samaritan in that dream. Very sad for those children, though. Good thing it was only a dream, and I hope that is not the case for a lot of people. But I have a feeling it is. And that's sad. So anyway, I'm going pee, and then I'm going to bed. Okay, bye. Gigi, you ready for food? You hungry? Time for Gigi to eat. Russ brought home burritos from this other small uh, burrito Mexican restaurant type place nearby. Sit. Day. Oh, that's a good girl, JJ. You a good girl, JJ. Eat. Good girl. So surprisingly, JJ did not bark when Russ unlocked the door. Cinnamon rolls. Ooh. Cinnamon sensation. Um, she did not um, uh, bark. She didn't bark. What else did he buy? From the doll hair store, he got himself some deodorant and stuff. And these are the burritos. What else? That's the toilet paper. And a plastic bag. Okay, look how big this is. This is a huge burrito, I'll probably only eat half. Let's eat. Mew. 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 Oh kitty, you're so much skinnier. Without all that fur on, watch out for the door. Meow. Meow. Ah, ouch. Okay. Hold on. So dad messages me today saying that uh, the bed will have two different types of stain on it because of he ran out of one or something. Which is fine. I don't really care. You know, so one's like a darker reddish brown color. The other's a kind of a lighter medium brown or something. Um, whatever. I don't really care. He's hand made this bed. Hand crafted. Uh, I mean, he followed a pattern, but he put, he made the, he's made the bed. Okay. So anyways, yeah, my dad papinates. Woodwork. Papa Nate's workshop. That's what I'll call it. Um, so, my dad had, loves woodworking. And, um, he taught me a lot of woodworking and, uh, self-sustainable things, like how to mow the lawn and how to you do everyday household stuff. He even, he's the one who taught me how to patch a hole in a sock or a shirt or, or patch a, uh, sew a button on a shirt. He's the one who taught me that. My mom taught me how to use a sewing machine. My dad taught me how to do needle and thread sewing like that or patchwork, I should say, you know, put an iron on patch on or, or not just iron on it. Anyways, so he's an old fashioned guy, I be honest. He um he uh believes that doing 
The dishes is a, it's actually something he does, but he feels that my mom, you know what though? Maybe he doesn't feel this way and that's just how my mom portrays it. Cause my mom never said anything about, about my dad. Or she said recently that he, she's always expected to cook, but has she ever said anything? You know, maybe she says, I don't want to cook a, one day a week. She doesn't cook Sundays. I think it is that she's just, she does not cook on those days. So, you know, and dad, she feels that dad expects the meal to be prepared for her, for him, uh, when he's home or something like that. I, I don't know. This is what mom has said. And, um, I was like, okay, maybe he does. In which case he's like old fashioned thinking. I mean, he was born in 1940. So he might've grown up that way. He didn't have a dad or anything like that. Oh, this man. Okay. So tomorrow's agenda. No, let me back up. I was talking about the bed. The bed will be complete and ready for assembly next weekend. However, we're out of town next weekend. So I said, okay, well, and we're out of town the following weekend. So I said, why don't we, uh, why don't like during the weekday, since I work from home and I'll be here, why don't you come over? Um, you know, I'm on one of my breaks or something and, um, and we can start then, you know, get, I'll take my break time to help him bring in the pieces and, and whatnot. Like say he'll come on my lunch break or something. So, so if he's on my lunch break and that'll give us even more time to clean this room. Cause, oh my God, it needs to be cleaned. It needs to be rearranged as well. But I don't think Russ wants to do that. And I know that it needs to be done because we're not, the way the bed is sitting right now in between the two end tables is not going to have room um, for the bed. It needs to be sitting right where the, the, um, uh, the window is. And Russ isn't going to like that. He's like, well, then we got to move all the speakers and we got to move this and we got to move that and blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to also get him to um, change, switch his um, his um, uh, dresser using his daughter's dresser, which is taller, but not, it's taller, but not as wide. And I think that would be better. We could take the legs off so it doesn't like hit against the tilted ceiling, vaulted, is it vaulted? It's tilted, whatever. The ceiling. Is that an angle? Oh man, my hair is so gross. Okay, so then that's the story about the bed. Then tomorrow, my car, my rear passenger side tire is like bald. It's slick. It's like a, it's like smooth. Okay, so we got to take it into Weber Auto. We're going to get a tire for that and I told Russ that we need to wake up and we got to be there at like 8 and he asked me twice and I answered him twice so I already said <laughs> so anyways we gotta get tired tomorrow and then um I think that's pretty much it for my agenda tomorrow is to have a tire put on the car what you got uh, tournament prep, right? Yeah. Yeah, cause you, it's on San, Sunday? Yeah, tournament's on Sunday, yeah. It's Sunday. For tomorrow, I'd be already, I'd, I'd already be in bed. Oh, yeah. Russ has a fishy tournament on Sunday. So, on that note, tomorrow should be a pretty adult day. Well, morning anyways. And then we gotta start trying to clean up the room, so... That's it. Okay, talk to you later. Toodles! I'd love to stay in chat, but you're a total bitch.